guys welcome to my channel today i'm going to show you how i got this makeup look and yeah if it's your first time here you're most definitely welcome make sure you click that like button and stay tuned and watch how i got this look bye first of all i'll start by doing my brows i'm using the essence pencil eyebrow pencil in brown and i'm just going to use it to outline my brows and yeah fill it in with the brow pencil Eels. and it's better to fill in from the middle side and you know leave the front side is then you use a spoolie to do the front, like brush it out it's better that way to make it look more natural and yeah fill in every space next thing i'm going to use my la pro girl in medium beige with an um, angle brush, I would clean up the lower part of my eyebrow. Yep. So yeah, you want to, you know, clean it and make the line look kind of straight. And yeah, my eyebrows don't look same. Remember, eyebrows, they are sisters and not twins. Yeah, they won't really look the same. That's me sipping on tea. Next thing, I'm going to use my Mary Kay foundation to clean the upper part of my brow with that same angled brush that's yeah and it's better to use the color that is close to your skin to clean up your upper brows and you use a blending brush to you know blend it into your skin sometimes you can just go with this but if you want to like do a full face makeup like i'm doing after you blend it you apply the same yellow pro to your lid for like your eyeshadow base now this is to help your eyeshadow be like sit on your eyes without creasing and also to help the eyeshadow be more pronounced because my, on my skin color most of my eyeshadows are not pronounced I use my beauty blender to blend it in then I got this beauty blender from Farris by the way I use my full yarn powder to you know prevent it from creasing so i'll just apply it on the concealer to set my concealer to prevent it from creasing so with this palette that i got from aliexpress i'm going to use the kind of pinky shade for my crease yeah i'm going to apply that on my crease and by the way crease is like the upper part of your area that's what i was trying to demonstrate in the video now you apply it and you blend it in blend it blend it blend it blend it but this person is like helping it to apply and i'll use that darker purple to put it on the eye too and also blend it alongside with that pink and i'll use this blending brush to blend them both into the eye or blend them to each other then I'm going to use another, you know, darker brown color to apply to the outer corners of my eye and blend it into the crease too. And I'm planning to use that gold shade, but first I'm going to use my flat brush and my LA Pro concealer to cut that crease. Not like a full crease. I'm carrying my eye up to know where to cut because if you cut it without you know knowing where it will disturb that part so after cutting the crease i'm going to set it with this powder I actually forgotten the name of this powder but i'll put it in the description box below so i'll use it to set my concealer and after that i will use that gold shade shade with that brush and apply it on my eye and i'm using like a pasting motion like i'm not like dragging it i'm just pasting it because if you drag it it will not be able to sit on the eye so it's better you just like dab it on the eye yeah so i did my other eye off camera so i'm going to line my eye i prefer to line directly from the last end of my um what they call it eye eyes and then push it in to the eye now you have to be very careful with this Step so you make sure you don't you know wound yourself or you don't make a mistake because it's very easy to make a mistake with eyeliner so the next thing i'm going to go to is my full face 
and i'm going to start by using this bell yeah i didn't wear eyelashes because i didn't feel like wearing eyelashes so i used mascara and i made a mistake now this type of mistake is very easy to make with mascara but the best thing i do is i'll do it in the video though but the best thing i do is just to clean it up with my foundation brush i tried cleaning that method and it just made it spread so i just let it go so now my full face i'm using the belita young cream because it's winter and my face is dry so i prefer to use a moisturizer and this moisturizer is very nice like it smells nice and it makes the skin ready to absorb all the makeup that you're planning to use so now because i have dark spots on my face i'm going to use this you can be palette and i'm using the orange and the darker black brown to correct my face from all these dark spots if you have dark spots or you have like pimples or something and you want to correct it you just use a corrector and i'm just going to dab the corrector into my skin i don't want it to like come out of my skin and you know be pronounced on my makeup so i correct under my eye because under my eye is always very dark so i just you know correct it and you know dab it into the skin because that's what you want to do but i don't know why i forgot to dab that one i was actually looking for places to correct <laughs> uh so the next thing i'm going to do is use this brush i wish i don't know where i got it from most of my brushes are mac brushes by the way so i'm going to use that brush to apply my foundation and it's the same mary Kay foundation i actually don't know the shade and i don't know how to find the shades of foundation but yeah the foundation did not give me the enough coverage i needed so i added one other drugstore foundation i actually don't know the name and i've forgotten the name but the foundation just helped the mary Kay foundation to you know cover my face more but it was like too dark so i had to mix my mary Kay foundation with it so using the brush and it's better to start with the brush first before you use your beauty blender because the brush will just help yeah this is where i corrected tried to correct that mistake and it worked out a little shower so yeah now i move to my beauty blender and i spray it with my face spray my face spray whatever and blend it it's good to really first of all use a brush so that by the time you're blending it into your skin you will not have like much work to do and you know it will be easily blendable and make sure you remember to blend it to your neck and your ears because you don't want them to be like different color but someone like me i have like hyperpigmentation so i'm using my la pro girl to conceal my face like highlight my face i'm going to bring out the places i want them to be more pronounced so i use it mainly on under my eyes my nose my forehead around my mouth because like there's this particular shape of concealer i like i don't like dragging my concealer too far just under my eye and i wait for my concealer to dry as you can see i'm having fun waiting for my concealer to dry because i prefer it dried so i tried to use brush and i found that it was not yet dried so i had to wait for some time before i use it and yeah victory dance <laughs> yeah that's me go for me next thing i'll use my beauty blender and blend it in now that it's somewhat dried because now it's going to really look very highlight but if you use wet it sometimes it doesn't highlight though but it depends on the highlight or the concealer you're using to highlight yeah so yeah my concealer is like pro girl in medium beige and as you can see i'm trying to show you the shape i was actually going for for my face and i'm going to blend into my skin i actually don't really need to always highlight my forehead i don't know why i do it so i use the same fully on powder i've been using this powder for some time i use it to bake under my eyes you know the places i had highlighted because if you don't set your concealers, it will crease. And you definitely don't want creasing. So, yeah, the name cleaned up, but that's the Iman powder. 
I'm going to use it to set my whole face. Yeah, set the face, yeah. And it's good to set your whole face because you applied foundation on the other side and you just set the part you conceal. So I'll use the same brush to clean up my powder that I used to bake so that it will not, you know, form creasing. So the next thing I'm going to do is set my face with this spray and this is the only time I set my face. So I wait for my face to set before I contour. Now basically this step is trying to bring back, you know, normally our face has different types of contour and highlighted views. So I contour my face to like bring back that shape because if you don't contour it, it like looks really round. Well, you contour it, then I contour my nose to look, you know, longer and more pointed. And I like having like this square shape of contour. But the contour on this other part of my face was looking quite big, so I needed to like, you know, cut that part. So I used the powder to cut it. And then I will now use the Powder to set my whole face. I'm going to use blush, and the blush I'm using is the Kiki Trend blush. And I use like the three shades to blush to give myself that pinkish blush. So I'm going back to that palette to like the three highlighter shades they have, and that's what I'm going to woo that highlight. Yeah, that's what I'm going to use to highlight my whole face. Not my whole face are my cheekbone top of like close to my forehead my nose my cupid's bowl yeah next thing is under my eyes i'm going to line under my eyes with the revlon white eye pencil and then i'm going to make my lower lashes look longer with my mascara i have forgotten the name of this mascara but i'll make sure i put it in the description box below that's the mascara I'm using and I love my eye look so much yeah because I'm not using brows I'm trying to yeah so I'm lining my lips with the Revlon brown pencil that's what I'm using to line my lips I'm using the pop feel lipstick in brown to line my lips I got this from yeah pop feel from Aliexpress and it's very matte I love the lipstick then after I line my lips again with the Revlon to get that brown shade. And yeah, I already feel so beautiful. Yeah, I didn't set my face again because I already set my face. So thanks for watching. Till next time. Bye.